Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So we had um, a little cruise with our friend yesterday, and I would just like it to be said that I moved for there into a lock. Yeah. Self-service on my own. Didn't hit nothing. Didn't hit anything. And then moored it on the lock landing afterwards. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I was very proud of that. So today a few little maintenance tasks. So uh, off to do a pump out. Yes. The joy of every boater's life. <laughs> it's never easy, is it, owning a boat? There's no. always something you got to do. Um, <laughs> and then... Water. Water, yeah. And also um, a little, well, hopefully a little tip about maintaining your canopy. Uh, I've done something which seems to have worked so far, but I've, I've got another little tip. Um, and also we need to look at our poorly bow thruster. Yeah, it's making some very strange noises. Really weird noises. Um, it's definitely not working properly. No. There um, is thrust, but it's not a lot, is it? No, no. It uh, doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. Something's a bit poorly with it. And we've also got a bit of a shower problem now as well. Uh, the shower literally, well, you'd get wetter in the rain, wouldn't you? Oh, you would. Yeah, it, it's weird. Something's going on with that. We think we've identified it. Um, I think it's the little control unit sort of within the, yeah, the temperature the, bit of the shower. The um, thermostat bit. We've had one sent out, but it's the wrong one. So, still, I mean, we can have a shower. Um, <laughs> it just takes a long time. <laughs> yeah. You're right if you want to burn your skin off. Yeah, for some reason, if on you put it to maximum baking hot, hot. Yeah, you have a good shower. Um, your skin melts. Yeah, I, I can't have a shower where my skin melts. <laughs> and uh, washing my hair at the moment, it's like, try and get the water, out of the water. Try and get the water, try and get the water. <laughs> so it's not really ideal. It's not good, is it? No. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how these little um, maintenance jobs go today. We'll catch you up. a water hose on a pump out station but obviously do not fill your boat up with water from this hose because people use it to flush out their tanks. Ugh. We have seen some people before use the water hose to fill up their water tank. I wouldn't suggest it. So you put your little token in, it says accepted, and then when it turns green, you're ready to pop. Here's a beautiful process of sucking out your toilet. Richard loves this, don't you? Oh yeah! It's my favourite hobby. <laughs> So once everything's finished sucking out, we give it a flush out, give it a rinse, and then I just put some um, bio liquid detergent, uh, just to hopefully kill off any yuckies. Yeah. We only flush a bit, don't we? Yeah. So this is um, why you really don't want to use this hose for your main water because people put it down the hole where the nasties are. <laughs> Job number one done. 
one pound. Or number twos. <laughs> yeah, that should have been number two, shouldn't it? So now back to our pontoon. <laughs> Which will be fun with this wind. It's quite, yeah, it's really winds picked it's up actually. Picked it's up, really yeah, cold. it's beautiful this morning, sunshine. Now it's chilly. And now we've got a bit of rain. So, on to our other tasks. So, job number one done, pump out done. Now it's time to fill up with some water. We've also now just taken the fly netting off the windows because I don't think we're going to want the windows open too much during the winter. <laughs> and also, we don't really have so much of a problem with bugs in the winter, so we've taken off our fly netting and all our little magnets all joined together that we held it up with. We did have some big ones as well, which have gone a little bit rusty. So that was an extra bonus job. So we can't do anything about our shower because the bit they sent us is completely different from the bit that's in there. Yeah, it, it doesn't even fit. So I don't know whether that means we can't get that part or whether it means that we're gonna have to replace the whole unit. Who knows? Still under warranty though. So it's just, it takes ages for anything to come through. So. That's a job for another day. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, say again. Come back now. Well, nothing's moving, if you know what I mean. Rich has just been down the front um, while I just gave the bow thruster a blast. Still sounding tragic? Yeah. Yeah, it's sounding quite tragic. So we're going to wait for the water to fill up because uh, we don't want water and electrics. And then we're going to have a look and see what's going on. So this is our bow thruster, which is extremely dirty. What do you think that might be? <laughs> That's carbon. Yeah, which That's is the not... carbon brushes. It's meant to do it. Oh, is it? Yeah, they wear down and everything... Uh, it's like pencil. It's horrible. We've got 170 hours on the boat. Yeah. So it's not as if we don't use it. We're not just sat around, are we? No. <laughs> And it is, they're designed to wear down. The brushes wear down. And this is what happens when they wear down. It gets dirty. So we're wondering whether it's the brushes that have worn down. I don't think it is from the weird noise it's making. No. I think it's a little bit more disastrous, isn't it? Yeah. You pull the little spring back. And then you can sort of try and get them out. Because we've got a distance there look, on the top. Right. So I only need to take one out and then I can see all the others. Yeah. Because I can measure that distance. They're all worn. Mind you, that one's a little bit, a little bit worse. There's a brush bit. Oh, that's a brush, is it? Yeah, that's a carbon brush. Oh, okay. That then, the motor goes onto there. So is that and there's down? four of them. I need to measure it. Oh, I see. Uh, there's a distance from there to there right, that you okay. need to measure. And brand new, they're 32 mil. And when they're below 16 mil, you throw them away. Right. Fair so enough. the saga continues. To get a tape measure to see whether they are worn. If not, 
it might be the motor needs to come off. Mm -hmm. It's 27. Yeah, so it's still been in spec. 32 brand new. Oh, okay. So we've worn off 5 mil. And when are they not any good? 16. Oh, okay, so we've still got tons then, still 11 mil. Yeah, yeah, we've got 25, 6, yeah, 27. Okay. Well, we've got a distance here. Yeah. So, and you can see the distance there from that one and that one. Right. And this one, so we know they're all sticking out about the same. And if yeah. that one's measured fine, then the others are fine. Yeah. So you only need to take one out. So if it's not that, which is what we thought it might be... I'm going to have to take the whole motor off. Right. And turn the motor by hand and see if... I mean, this bearing looks okay. And then I should be able to get to the gear motor, to the which is on the top of the propeller. Right. And see if I can turn that by hand and see if it's clonking. And if it's clonking, then we're in big trouble. Oh, man. Do you know how to take the whole motor out? Yeah. Just take the two wires off. Undo them big four bolts. And then lift, lift it out. <laughs> Start seeing water coming out. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and where will the water stop coming out? No, I needed bolts. Okay. <clears throat> Within that <laughs> crevice. <laughs> No, all this should lift up. I know we always say risk it for a biscuit, but is this the time to risk it for a biscuit? <laughs> no, there's no water in this bit. Okay. It's sealed off. Well, hopefully. <laughs> if it isn't, there's something definitely wrong with a bow thrust. wire I need to get off. Nothing wrong with that, is there? No. You can hear it going Oh really? Yeah. Well it shouldn't be <sighs> oh, yeah, that's that's sort of almost the sound. You know when it goes do, 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 do. Yeah, it's not this. This is perfect. It's no playing out of nothing, look. No. That's that's great. But that sounds horrible. And you can hear it go. Yeah. It's like it's jumping teeth. Yeah. In the drive. Because so you've got a propeller there and you've got another drive on the top. Yeah. So you've got teeth here and teeth there. So you can get a 90 degree on the on the drive. But it, if you turn it quick, it feels like it's slipping over the teeth. Which, um, it's not good. It's the bottom drive, drive foot of the bow thruster. I think it's the gears in it. So is that warranty or is that... Well, don't, the thing is, you can feel it turn. Yeah. If the propeller was jammed up with a log or something like that, you wouldn't be able to turn it. No, that's true. And you wouldn't have any thrust, because we have got thrust, haven't we? Yeah. It just makes a really horrible noise. Mm. So, I, I think the bottom drive has basically destroyed, destroyed itself in the actual foot of the... Unit. But is that lifting it out of the water to do that, or can they do that from this end? No. You've got to take it out of the water. Or you've got to have scuba gear on, support the boat. Because as soon as you undo these, you've got to, if you look down here, you've got these two bolts here. Those two. Yeah. Uh, this top plate sits on the tube, on right. this big tube here which is full of water. Yeah. And the foot underneath it, the L-shaped foot with the propeller, sits yeah. in the tube 
with two threads in it. Right. So you line that up in the right position and then you bolt these two down and you sandwich it together. Right. So it sandwiches the outer shell of this tube and seals it. Yeah. So if you undo these yeah. to get this top plate off, you'll get the top plate off, but then the foot will fall down into the tube uh, and all the water will pour out the great big hole like that. Oh, man. Yeah. So the only way that you can change that is to lift the boat out of the water. I'll get a camera up the tube and um, have a look just to make sure and if the propeller's all intact and we'll be able to see it turn as well then yeah if the propeller's intact there's nothing jammed in it which I don't think there is because you can't feel it if it turns perfectly yeah it's just makes a horrible noise in the gearbox because the propeller can't make any noise it's just turning in water yeah all you got is two gears, and I think the, the gears are gone. Huh. I think we they're... don't seem to have much luck with gears, do we? No, I hate boats. <laughs> what should we have done? Bought a motorhome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it hasn't been altogether successful yet. Shower. Uh, <laughs> no power. <Mount> thruster. <laughs> doesn't look good. <laughs> Pump out. <laughs> yeah, that went all right. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus task of removing the fly netting. We have still obviously got all the fly netting or, um, that we installed in the mushrooms and the vents. Oh yeah, no, that'll stay in there forever. Yeah, that, that'll stay not... there forever and it seems to have worked. It's still seems to be spider free, which is good. Or they're hiding. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe they've just all gone for the winter. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a big problem is when you have these pram covers or a, a cratch cover um, obviously you get moisture and I guess you get the moisture then it evaporates and then you can end up with mould and we noticed or I noticed mm, last, last week. weekend um, all this sort of white flecking over the um, pram cover um, so I took to Facebook <laughs> ask for recommendations on um, get off Facebook yeah how to get rid of it in fact I've just noticed there is one bit that I didn't get yeah oh, um, and there half were quite, a job <laughs> there were quite a few suggestions so um, Milton in water was one um, squeezing lemons into some water and cleaning was another one what were the other two white vinegar oh white vinegar yeah obviously and acidic as wet well wet and forget and then yeah, a product called Wet and Forget. Which I have no idea what it is. No, it seems like quite a harsh chemical, I think. So we thought we'd try and go more the naturalistic route. So last weekend I used um, this little device, which is from our Karcher that we um, <laughs> the use windows. For the windows. And I um, clean the windows with this. And I actually just thought, well, what about some, um, again, the things that you can use bio-washing liquid for. <laughs> oh. I put some bio-washing liquid um, in with some water. And, it's really um, clean there. Yeah, and, and basically sprayed <laughs> it and then sort of um, scrubbed it with, with this bit. Um, and it's pretty much, if we look. It's, yeah, it's all it's, gone. Yeah, it's pretty much looking okay. The top of my head there but what I thought as just like a little sort of double dose if you like is somebody had mentioned clove oil um, so um, I've got some clove oil here it's 100% pure essential oil and I've got quite a big bottle of it <laughs> yeah, apparently you can use it for all sorts of things I'll put the link in the description um, from where I got it from um, and again, it's antibacterial, um, what else does it say, antiviral, antiseptic, you can use it for lots of different things. No, everything. But I thought doesn't being, say keeping mould off your roof there. It doesn't, but somebody had suggested using this, so I thought as a, as a second backup and maybe to try and keep it a bit at bay, I was going to give that a go. So you only need, um, I've put 10 drops literally in here just with some water. Um, and I'm going to repeat the process that I did last weekend, spray and then just sort of work it in with this bit. Um, and hopefully that might sort of keep it at bay for a bit longer. I think it is something that you have to just constantly do, that you will get mould coming through. 
but I just thought if we can try and tackle it before it gets really bad. Yeah, it don't bad. need to get bad. Don't want mushrooms growing from the roof. Oh, I could use them for dinner, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know what ones they'd be. <laughs> no. Probably end up in hospital. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to give this a go. And I also thought maybe clove oil might smell nice as well. Added bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a go. Or thousands of flies in the summer. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. Because I did everywhere before, I just literally just sort of sprayed the rest of the canopy. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, all should be well in the pram cover. Okay, so that's some uh, little jobs ticked off the list and some big jobs still not ticked off the list. <laughs> we'll have to see how we get on with those ones. <laughs> um, so, like always, if you like our channel or like this video, give it a little cheeky thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't already please subscribe thank you to everybody that has subscribed already and if you'd like to support us <laughs> you can click on the buy us a coffee link mm, and coffee <laughs> Richard likes coffee I need one now it's not actually going towards coffee the details uh, are there when you click on the link uh, so <laughs> <laughs> don't actually get a coffee then? You don't get a coffee, no. Oh. No. But someone's going to bring me coffee. No, they won't actually bring you coffee. Mm. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> anyway, um, so hopefully our next video, uh, we're working on 20 tips to keep you oh. occupied in the winter. <laughs> Might take a little bit of creation though. Um, what about the swimming one? Well, that might be included. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>